So guys, in this video, I would explain you about our settings general. Uh, so first we have here the profit and break even. The PayPal registered email address field is for the PayPal address to which you want to receive your money from your buyers in eBay. Um, the desired profit in dollars. Um, please don't leave it zero. Uh, if you don't want to use it, put at least one cent here like this. Uh, it's important uh, for the function of our eBay calculation price formula. Uh, the desired profit in percent, uh, you can actually use uh, either one of them, either both. Um, it's, uh, it depends on the way uh, you, you like to, uh, to prefer to work. Uh, the quantity, again, uh, all, all those settings are for your future listings. They are uh, for the lister only, for the auto lister or, or the bulk lister. Um, it never uh, uh, affects your existing listings, okay? If you want to change those parameters in, in your existing listings, please go to monitor page and use uh, bulk operations uh, button uh, there. Uh, okay, so back to the quantity. This is the quantity for the lister. How many items you want us to put in, in each item you list in eBay. Default break even. As you can see, we have it uh, separated for each uh, supplier. Um, and basically, the, the, the only thing you need to know in order to calculate it is that break-even should uh, include just three things. One is your uh, uh, the percentage of your eBay fees, two, uh, the percentage of your PayPal fees, and three, um, uh, some average percent uh, of the taxes you are expected to, to pay uh, to your supplier. Um, for example, in Amazon, uh, users who pay tax, uh, who are charged, uh, charged with taxes in Amazon, uh, usually put something like 5% uh, in, inside their calculation. Um, okay, so 5% uh, just for the text, of course. Uh, labels. Uh, here we have um, a, a few labels. You can change uh, all their name and you can assign uh, each new listing you list with the auto lister to one of the labels. So the only, uh, you, for example, you can ask your uh, VAs to mark every listing they list with uh, one of those labels. Uh, what is it good for? You can filter your uh, listings on monitor page by labels among uh, the other options. Uh, I will show you what it looks like here. Um, sorry. This is the filters button and you have the label here. Uh, you can choose and filter by the label. Okay, so I go back to settings general now. And um, what we also have here is some more settings like change quantity to zero or multiply price by four in case item is out of stock. And most of the users uh, prefer the first one. Um, here you can allow your eBay price to be lower than your source price. This is good for all, uh, all of you guys who work with coupons uh, or with some private suppliers uh, uh, inside, for example, Amazon gives them some permanent discount or whatever, or uh, cheap gift cards. Um, all those things might uh, cause your eBay price to be lower than Amazon. And normally, if this is uh, not checked, uh, we would protect you from, from this and uh, make your items uh, out of stock uh, as a result. But if you check it here, uh, your items would not be out of stock if your eBay price is lower. Uh, here you can upload your uh, watermark photo. This is a really old feature. Um, it's still here because sometimes some pe people like to use it. Uh, personally, I don't recommend uh, but if you uh, really want to, to, you have this option here. The image has to be uh, in PNG format with transparent background. And the size you can put uh, 100 by 100 pixels or 200 by 200 pixels. Uh, in the end, don't forget to click save. It's a bit hidden here on the left uh, bottom. Thank you.